In this section we'll cover how to create polygons and then how to fill holes in an object, so in a polygon object and also how to bridge two objects together. So we'll use create, right click, create and the basic cube and using keyboard D to go into face mode and select a face there and hit delete another one hit delete so we've removed two faces there so to create a new polygon we can use uh, point mode and we select a point hold down shift and hit another point and then hit another point and hit another so we've selected four points in a ring and if I hit keyboard P that rebuilds that polygon there. If I hit C you can see it's fully attached and it's subdivided fine Okay. Now if I was to only select one, two, three of them and hit P, we'd actually make a quad, a, a triangle, sorry. And if we did three there and hit P, we would hit another, make another triangle, and it would give us an edge running between like so. Now I can delete that edge, and I can delete that face as well. Start. Okay. What we can also do is instead of doing it using the point mode, we can just select an edge like so. And using the modify panel drop down, go to fill hole, which is shift F and hit that. And as you can see, what that's done is it's worked around the edges that are open and it's filled in polygons, or a polygon, all the way around. Now the problem there, and the problem using that one, is that what it's actually done is given us um, one solid n-gon. So to correct that, if we go to A, to point mode, select the two there and hit X to cut, that would now give us back to the same cube that we started with as you can see it subdivides as a, as a normal cube would using keyboard C so I'll just do that one again in a different way keyboard D for face mode delete that face I select edge mode and select one of the edges and hit modify build hole and it fills it again and as you can see made it a solid object again can be very useful when you're uh, chopping and changing a model around if you're doing um, polygon modeling or point by point modeling uh, box modeling or point by point modeling there's there's lots of ways and lots of times that you'll need to refill a hole like that okay so if I wanted to bridge two parts of an object together I'll just go to object mode keyboard F I'll make another little cube down here so we've got two at the moment there two separate objects now if I want to bridge those two together, join them with more uh, polygons in the center here, what I would have to do is first of all select them both by holding shift and right clicking them. Show you one more time, Sh and left clicking them, sorry, so shift, left click, shift, left click, They're both selected, right click, combine objects. Well you can't see any difference now, if I select one, it selects the both, so select one, selects the both. So that's now a single object. If you tried to do a bridge between two separate objects, it wouldn't work. So if I was to now just delete the face that's facing there and the face that's facing there, if I now select edge mode and select the face on this side, an edge on this side, sorry, and an edge on this side, so you've got one selected there, so if I can show you properly, and then one selected there. I'm going to modify bridge or shift and B. And that bridges the two edges across and gives us a new polygon. So once again, select this one, select this one. And then I'll do, actually I'll use the command shift and B and it gives us another one. And you could work your way around like so. I'll just undo that. Another way to do it is select this one this one, this one, this one by hand or I was holding down shift then to select those or just 
double click one edge and that would select all of those hold down shift and double click these edges that will attempt to bridge those four edges to those four edges so just use shift and B and that's done that for us absolutely fine just check it in subdivide mode and it's filled it in nicely like so okay if I was to try and get a bit complicated with it and select those two but then select those two so they're not m matching in orientation and then called up a shift B it would have a go and give us some nasty errors so you always need to be careful about the number of edges joining in there and their alignment really if you're going to use bridge what you can do is what we used earlier instead of bridging across there you could select one point two points three points four points and hit P which would fill in that polygon there again one two three four and P and it's filling it in nicely so doing the same thing as bridge just a different way like so